Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to a Gamer Encounters of Surviving the Aftermath, where it's been a while since we last played this and there's been six major updates to the game. So we're jumping back into it today to see if this post-apocalyptic city builder has gotten better than last time. <laughs> All right, so it's been a while, six major updates, six major updates. If you click this eye icon here, you can see there's been expanded colony. My graphics blocking me. Look, it's fine. Uh, bandits and societies, expeditions, great minds, sanctuary, hostile world. Hostile world just released today, just released today. And it's um, supposed to just make things more hostile, I guess, which I guess is the point of a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, there's also been various graphical improvements and all sorts of things like that. If you open up settings, um, there's more stuff. Um, there's also Twitch channel integration, which I'm not entirely sure what it's going to do, but this is recorded live, so that might affect things as we go along. And key bindings, all of that, very nice. Now, one important point is this so far has been an Epic Store exclusive, which is always a contention point uh, for games. And it's supposed to release fully in 2020 with a Steam release as well. But until then, it's an Epic Store exclusive. And I'm not really qualified to talk about the game dev side of things. So uh, I am actually active on Twitter, twitter.com slash gamerzack. And this guy, uh, is a developer and he mentioned the deal that the Epic Store is doing and according to him it's a very legit deal that's pretty much unheard of. So from the game developer standpoint Epic is doing something that is very very good for the industry. However uh, from the consumer gamer side, don't really like the word consumer, but from the gamer side more options is always better. So it's not that great for us that it's not on Steam, it's not on GOG. However, if it leads to a better game at the end of the day, it might be worth it going through something like an Epic Store exclusive. You decide at the end of the day, but you can check out that tweet. Anyway, we're gonna be jumping into the game here. It's been a while, let's just click new game. Uh, let's leave the tutorial on because I don't know what's been changed. And we're just gonna go middle for everything, right? Not too hard, not too easy. Get a pretty much of a real experience here. Uh, so we're gonna go with the environment. The world is desolate and unforgiving. Uh, average temperature and humidity, fertile soil, 25%. Catastrophes, it's still a dangerous world, but will prevail. Resources, the trusted car finally broke down instead of a bunker or we just stop at some random point. <laughs> the car broke down. Survivors, a band of survivors able to care for themselves. Seven adults, three children. Ideology, uh, what is this? Uh, hardy survivors get more of what you get. Keep the colony running and growing. Discover more in the colony and around it. What? What's the difference? This is more with what we start. This is more around us. This is just middling, I guess. Keep the colony running and growing. I guess middling, yeah. Gatekeeper. This is sort of like the AI um, in RimWorld, where what shows up at your gate. Uh, anything's possible, challenging but fair, lenient and helpful. I'll go with challenging but fair. I want to see who shows up. And visuals. This is still too limited. There's no gray. <laughs> I always pick gray or black for my brand. Uh, and it's like, oh, eh, well, these graphics, I think there, there's new ones though. What can we choose from? Is there a snake? There is a snake, but why is it purple? Come on. I guess snake's fine. Color. Don't really. Uh yellow, purple, orange. Is there something? Maybe we go with something else. I'm not liking, I'm not feeling that snake this time. Are any of these actually good? <laughs> uh, by good, I mean, they're all, they're all nice, but they're all not really our aesthetic. Skull and crossbones 
feel. The light blue feels kind of gray. You know, I like the gray on the flag. I like, the, I prefer that one. Color, red, no, too harsh green. These colors are very garish. <laughs> I think it's the orange. Yeah, I think it's the orange. I think it's the orange. I think we go with this. All right, continue. Uh, colony name. We are, of course, living in Dwellmond. Colony motto. Haven for all. Under the shade we flourish for a better tomorrow. Survive and thrive. Rather rebuild and prosper, divide and conquer. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. Um, we can't, as yeah, too cheesy. Unity equals strength for a better tomorrow. Endure and overcome. Keeps going back to it, I guess. I feel like the sh never conquered, always feared. Oh. Our motto. <laughs> um, come on, then. We'll do it. This is what I always said. Plaza it up. That's actually really good. We're going to plaza it up. Great. Continue. Summary. This is what we're doing. Difficulty 67%, which is middling for everything. Let's start the game. Here we go. <coughs> Chavant, thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> CMV said, we don't need to feed our people. <laughs> Alright, building the gate makes your colony visible for bypassers. So basically, we've got no rush mode until we build a gate. That's how this game works. Now, I have upgraded my PC since the last time we played this game, so I've set everything to max. If it lags out, I'll just tweak the recording settings a little bit. Let's see. Is everything smooth? This had some lag issues last time, but I think it's fine. Everything nice and smooth? Great. Oh, right, we can zoom right out. This definitely looks prettier than last time. Th this definitely looks better. So this is the world map. We're here in Dwellment. Great. So, let's follow the tutorial. This is our broken truck, which has a bunch of stuff in it. We have food storage and a stockpile. We can... This is food storage. We can move the work area to grab food from there. The stockpile. We can move the work area to grab resources from there. And we want to build... Tents. How do I... R to rotate? Okay, I'm blocking the instructions. Hold shift to build multiple R to rotate. So let's... I always build things too close to everything. Uh, oh, so let's try not to waste our fertile land. This is the main gate here. I guess... I guess we just build down here, yeah? We can build right over this. Uh, let's go one... Two... Oh, it's raining. Okay. One house holds how many people? I don't know, but I guess we'll build... It probably holds at least two, right? Let's go with five. Gate ruins. All right. Rebuild a collapse gate from the build menu to attract more people to join your stuff. Okay. Basic controls. I think we can skip this. Yeah, confirm. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Everyone's just homeless. Advanced controls, anything we need to know. Box select? Okay, that's fine. Oh, box select. Oh, I see. Ah, okay. We can also rotate with this. Yeah, the game definitely looks prettier than last time. I can't tell if it's running better because, like I said, I, I upgraded my PC. All right, one house holds two people. All right, we got ten people, so five houses, correct. What else do we need to build? 
uh, trapper, fishing hut. Do we have some water here? Can I get some fishing going? Okay, this does actually work. How do we... Let's secure a source of food. How does this work? Ah. It can't rotate at diagonals. Is this better? There we go. That kind of covers most of that. We're gonna do that. Get some fishing. We also need a water well. To provide water to all of our people. Um, oh, it has to be on this. It has to be built on there. Fertiles produces. Oh, I see the efficiency. So building this in the center provides up to 67, 68%. I see. So it's actually most beneficial to place it here. All right, we'll get that going. I assume the occupants can get water from there. They don't have to live near the water, do they? Do I want to build a water tower? Probably not quite yet. Let's prioritize this to high. Dirt road. Uh, and we'll probably want to road up... Can I not road through here? I can road through here. And we'll just road up all along here. Good. That'll give them something to do. And a road up to the fishing hut. Yes, great. Water shortage. Yes, we're currently having minus 10 water. Uh, build a water source. Yes, good. Confirm. Should be done soon enough. Great. Yeah, the well can be anywhere. It can get water from anywhere. All right, yeah, good. Because some games you got to build the wall, uh, the well near the houses. a dirt road on a paper. Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. All right. Areas of effect. That's correct. Wells fisheries have area of effect. Good favorable location. That's why I put the fishery there. Covers more of the lake. Good. Planks depleted. So we need to move our work area to... What is that? Concrete ruin? Nuclear waste? Those are planks. Those planks. Can I move the work area to cover both of those? There we go. So we've got planks and concrete ruins. Looks nice. Yeah, so there's been various graphical improvements, particularly with lighting models. You can see these lights. This, this does look way better than it was. I'm, I don't think the tents used to have these flaming barrels. So it's really nice. I'm not sure if you can see the rain after the encoding. The, the rain's nice. And this fog's coming through. Okay, this game does look a lot prettier than it used to. Yeah, yeah, and it's starting to set in. Okay, your colonists. The top bar shows your colonists. First are carriers. Vital for moving resources. Total population. Uh, highlight either for a breakdown. Yeah. There we go. Carriers, workers, adults, children. Very nice. Good. Okay, good. So they're just setting up the road now. So we can get to this. We have... No. How do I... Oh, that... Right, that's still an issue from last time. Okay, this button is... This is not a button. This is not a button. See that eye icon? You cannot have a button that... That's that small. <laughs> you cannot have a button that small. Clicking this removes him from the work, but clicking that tiny eye goes to him. Okay. <laughs> One of my PC specs, I have 16 gigs RAM, an i7 
7700 and a GTX 2017. Ah. No one knows how to build a wood cabin. Look, we've lost technology. Plastic and metal. Okay, build a recycler. Scavenging plastic and fiber. The scrapper for metal and junk. So I suppose we go for those next. So we want a scrapper and recycler. Let's zoom out. Scrapper. So there's that's the nearest deposit there. And the recycler here. I think setting it up over this way is best. So let's have this built. This is the recycler. And we want to have the scrapper, which we can do here. And we can just set up the road, the dirt road. Based on screenshots, there are uh, other kinds of roads as well. I guess we, that would be kind of nice to set up for efficiency eventually. This road came along quite nicely. What are you guys holding? Oh, they're just holding shovels. They're having fun? To each their own, I guess. I'm not sure why Ivy has her portrait showing here. That's fine. Storage types. Multitude of resources are stored in different buildings based on their type. Some resources cannot be used if not first stored properly. Construction materials like planks and metal go in the stockpile. Food storage, warehouse, refine. Warehouse is for refined items, right? So we currently have food storage and stockpile. Food storage is still going okay. I feel like we don't... We can decorate. Pathfinder statue. Torch, pink flower bush, large yellow bush, large green bush. Yellow is our color. So let's go ahead and I will place a bush right there. Maybe she's a leader. Right, there are certain leaders and personalities. Oh, she's a specialist. That's why. She's a scientist. We can. Okay, there we go. That's why. That's why. Uh, that's actually nice. Making that particular person look more, you know, insufficient resources for recycler, which needs wood and concrete. We can just collect more, right? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's more available. We're just short on wood. The scrapper got the wood, that's why. Okay, no problem. All right, they're going back to setting up the road, which we will actually need... the road continuing along here eventually good is that oh that's nuclear waste right there should be enough berries to keep us going change the game speed right uh, what's the hotkey for that uh, we'll go to 2x. I think that's fine, right? Oh, this is a nice little thing they've designed here. That's, that's cool. These are a fierce mouse. A majestic deer. Ah. The scrapper is done, which is going to get us metal. Good. We still got planks available. We still got concrete available. Good. Colonist Natalie died. Was killed. There's just a pack of fierce mice right there. They just straight up killed Natalie. How do you have no death runs in this game? <laughs> I mean, it's, that's not even near anything. Why was she over there? Why did she wander away from the base? 
She's like, oh, let's go check out that pack of fierce mice. Dead colonists. One of your colonists has sadly died. Build a burial pit before the corpse starts rotting and spreading disease. Confirm. Uh, what would that be under? Burial pit. Where do we stick a burial pit? It shouldn't be near our base, but also I don't want to wander off into the fierce mice. Is it safe to just stick it over here behind this pollution behind these trees maybe these are majestic deers I assume they won't we shot on plastic all right we'll be getting plastic soon this berries in the way eventually those berries will be gone and then I can have the road just go up to here okay well we're getting fish that's nice fish and berries not a bad diet look at this how do I a rat beetle you're gonna die wait no how how do I s in combat don't be in combat Colony under attack. I guess Isaac's just gonna die. I can't... I can't tell him to not be there. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> How, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Wait, and they're just gonna go through the entire base? There's three of them! How? How? Where's... Can you do anything about it? Those rat beetles are glitching out a little bit. Can Ivy do... You're a scientist, can you... You have a gun? The tutorial needs to tell me that <laughs> our starting scientist has a gun. No, you're not dead yet? This feels a little brutal. Doesn't feel like a victory. <laughs> but alright. And you're just gonna wander back to... The broken truck. Okay, well this needs to be repaired now. Which was short on... Wood. So we're gonna need to go get more wood. Ruined wooden house, scrap metal, okay. That's shot on plastic, alright. So... Okay, well we've we've lost two adults, which is not so great. There they are. The body of Isaac and... A sandworm. A massive mutated centipede which burrows underground to attack its victims. What? There's a sandworm right there? Send Ivy to clear the critters around the base. That seems like a good idea. These critters over here. There's, there's like fierce mice here. I don't even know why. People are wandering over this way. What's that? I hope you have infinite bullets. What are you even shooting at? Are you shooting at the sandworm? No, kill the fierce mice!
Planks depleted? Okay. We don't have enough planks. Move work area. Those. No! Why? Why? Why are you punching? No! Why is Paisley... How do I stop Paisley from attacking a sandworm? Paisley, no. How? No. Don't. Why are you... We have a gun. You don't have a gun. Paisley, how do I... No. I can't control Paisley. Why is Paisley joining in? <laughs> why is Paisley joining in? There's nothing I can do. Why are you punching a sandworm? Just stop. Ivy just keeps running back there to shoot at the ground with the sandworm. I feel like there needs to be some military controls here. Stand ground, don't engage. Am I missing those controls? Is that... Statistics, specialists, tech tree. I don't think there's a control. Like, how could I have stopped Paisley from punching a sandworm? I, I don't understand. No societies on the world map. Okay. Like, I feel if you're gonna add in hostile creatures, you should also add in ways to stop people from dying to them outside of your control. Uh, build the gate. Alright, we can build the gate. There we go. You guys are gonna do that next. This needs all the resources we can currently get. Okay. But we've only got one carrier. How much food do we have? Let's stop collecting fish for a while. We do need to continue getting metal and plastic. Okay. That gives us two carriers. Okay. We probably should prioritize the burial pit for the three adults that died. IV replenish some health. Now, I saw some scary rats over this side as well. Guess they're not there anymore. Okay. I guess you need to really not wander away from the base until you can deal with things. But there should definitely be a run away from enemy button, right? Paisley did not have to die to the sandworm. Sending Ivy to tank kill the worm, or it might decimate the rest of... How... Are you serious? Oh. This one punched the worm to death. Aubrey. Really? Why is that the max character? I wanted to give you a nickname. Aubrey just punched the worm to death. Why are people walking over to the worm to kill- You're here to collect scrap metal. That worm can't move. Why are they wondering- There's a dangerous sandworm over there. We need to go kill it. And I've got all the guns we need. Yeah, there needs to be, like, patrol buttons, you know? Like, to patrol an area. 
right? See, Ivy's just gonna walk back there to go sleep. If if beetles attack us, right? There's nothing we can do. <laughs> Survivor's bloodlust. All right, I guess we can speed up the game now. We're low on a lot of resources. We've got enough food stockpiled for now. We just need to keep getting things. Colonists wants to talk. Two colonists approach you with sparkling eyes. An old landfill has been found. Oh. This is vote? I guess this is a Twitch integration. If that is available to you. I don't know if it works, but they're working on Twitch integration. Although the smell is absolutely awful, it might have kept scavengers away from there until now, and valuable stuff might still lie among the waste. An expedition might prove lucrative, but most definitely dangerous without any equipment. An extra layer of clothing and set of tools will go a long way. I don't know how you vote. It's, it's integrated, but <laughs> I guess it's not integrated for you guys yet. I just turned the option on. Can I even... Oh, I can't select. I can't select. It actually gives priority to you guys. So this is the Twitch integration they're working on. Perhaps you have to install something on Twitch. A plugin of some kind. Voting complete. Okay, well. Um... Dumpster diving. You know, I'm just going to give them the stuff, because I feel like we've died enough. The two colonists return uh, smelling more foul than you ever thought possible. The expedition hit a few snags, 12 plastic stuff. Okay, good. Colonist Mason is infected. Injuries and other conditions. Cause health loss and lead to death, of course. So we want to build a medical tent near the center of town. And we're just short on all resources because we've lost three adults to random things. Okay, I don't see... The rats over there. Anything dangerous this way? There's some fierce mice over there. But hopefully we don't wander in that direction. I guess you could handle those fierce mice. Just in case, that's that's a little close to us, so I'd like to clear those out. Okay. Oh, we're under attack. Jeez, you take a lot of damage. Are we under attack? Are those things coming for us? They're gonna stay there. Hopefully they just stay there. Alright, come pull back, pull back. Ah. <sighs> Did we get our burial pit? Yes. We probably need to prioritize the medical tent. We've got enough metal. Does this need metal? That also needs metal, okay. We got all the plastic we need, concrete, wood. Yeah, we're just short on wood. We don't have any concrete either. Ah, no. Can I get the concrete and the wood? No. There. Concrete, planks. I assume Ivy does heal up over time. Somehow, good. Food, still looking okay. Yeah, we need to get the medical tent going. We've only got one carrier. I assume the bodies have been collected. No. 
There's one more. Oh, we're getting it now. Okay. Once the burial pit is filled... Three out of 30 slots. All right. Let us take you off the burial pit. Low on food. I guess we return you to fishing. No free carriers left. <laughs> okay. So this, this is part of the Twitch integration as well, which I don't know how you get it working on uh, Twitch's side, but apparently you can vote on catastrophes. For now, I'll just skip it. Vote on the next catastrophe. So there's heat waves, meteor showers, nuclear fallouts, pandemics, magnetic storms. Okay. I'm currently the only person streaming this game. Wow. Yeah, I'm currently building the medical tent. Why? We've just lost another person. We have... Three adults left. <laughs> um, all right, well, stop collecting plastic, I guess. And I suppose for now, since it's not working, I will just turn off Twitch integration. Hmm. Apparently, you're supposed to be able to type numbers in chat, and it should work, but it wasn't registering, so I don't know if it works now. Uh, it'll be cool once it once it is set up and working. Uh, however, we've lost so many people to things that I feel like shouldn't have happened, <laughs> and now we're kind of just out of people. And we need to get to the world map at least. Come on, this is this is so hard. This is so hard. I don't know if we can even... Like, once we get to the world map, sometimes people do just sort of show up. Uh, I guess that person with radiation died? Is that who that is? Let's prioritize that then. It's not like we... Yeah, we don't need anyone working here anymore. Down to low. Alright. Do we have enough metal? Seven, five, we need concrete and planks. Okay, let's turn off working on that. We, are, we have resumed fishing. Okay, hopefully once we get the gate open, more people will join us. Just restart. Yeah, I think I, I just got to restart. There's no restart, is there? Exit to main range. Just like, everyone just died. There's no way to stop them from punching sandworms. So, new game. Um, yeah, keep the tutorials. All right. Everything ra right through the middle. Okay. New dwellment. Plaza it up. Okay. It's look, it's just <laughs> unforgiving game. No, it, it's it's unforgiving in the way that it shouldn't be right now with the animals, right? If if there is a sandworm, first of all, the sandworm doesn't move. It can't move. You have to go up to it. Even with our gun, we were shooting it. it, it wasn't coming at us, right? So there shouldn't be people who run up to a, a static enemy and punch something that is like 10 stories tall. <laughs> that, that shouldn't just happen. And when our villagers are like punching the beetles, it's like, 
there should be a runaway take shelter. Age of Empires 2 figured this out with a bell button on the town center. Like, come on. Like, th this problem has been solved. Let's do that. Hundred percent efficiency if it's here. Nice. Well, okay. What else do we need? Uh, we need the source of food, fishing. Placing the the fishery is a little tricky, but okay, that looks good. Fishing. Uh, I need to set this. Move work area to there. Move this. Move work area to those two. Let's not wander too far. Uh, Ivy. Any fierce mice. There's beetles right there. There's mice right there. Those are majestic deers. Seems pretty safe over this side. Alright, right feels safer. There's some fierce mice. Can you go kill those fierce mice first? So I feel like expanding to the right will be safe enough. Those beetles are very close. I'm gonna wanna be careful about those. Two colonists are homeless, okay. I think this is everything that we need to set up. We also need to put down the recycler, which can go right next to this. And we will need a scrapper, which can go right next to this. Okay. Did you manage to kill those fierce mice? What even are you shooting? The majestic deer? No, no. I don't think the majestic deer are dangerous. That fierce mouse is. Where are you going? No. Kill the fierce mouse. No, no, no. It's this one. Kill it. Okay, we'll take some hits. Okay. What even are you trying to kill? No, kill this one. Clear off all these mice. I'm not sure if Ivy's trying to hunt. Oh, you can enlarge the working areas? Hold control and mouse wheel. Okay, that helps a lot. They don't re- do they respawn? Okay. I cleared off mice from there. You can now come back for now. These beetles on the left... I'm a little wary of them. There they are. Large rat beetles. There's so many. If they attack, they'll probably come from this direction, so I'll want to leave Ivy around here. Who is healing up? That's nice. Good. So when I move the work area, I can... I see. I can make it small like that. That helps a lot. Just for clarity. Alright. I won't put down roads just yet. Water supply is fine. Great. Good. Everything started a little closer this time. So we're not running off to anywhere. Except for the fishing hut. Which is a little further. Okay. Medical tent. Top priority. Yeah, we kind of probably should put that down as well.
Maybe near the houses like this? Medical tent right there. Guess I'll skip the burial pit. No one's dead yet. Okay. We're already out of wood from there. Okay, let's... Move the collection area to those two. Make sure we keep having enough wood. Let's set that to low. Good. Fish is coming in. That's nice. All right. So the tutorial definitely needs something about the animals. And we need controls for not having people punch animals. That seems really, really important. Why would you make a gate in a world where everyone is dead? That's a thing. Everyone's not dead. Roads. Yeah, I don't want to get distracted building roads just yet. Oh, great. To skip it. Because I've already built it. Good. Everyone's asleep now. Let's speed up the game. Alright. Built a water source. No problem. There is effect. Got it. All right, I'm feeling a bit more confident with this one. It's just these beetles. And there's a lot of them. It's like, what, four? Ivy can't take on four. There's that fierce mouse there as well. Is that? Oh, that's really close. That fierce mouse is really close. Perhaps we can take out the fierce mice without alerting the beetles? There's three of them. Nope. Run away. Run away. Run away. Oh no, there's a guy punching. There's two guys punching. All right, we're gonna have to fight. All right. Look at this. We got two guys punching. Maybe we can survive this since we do have Ivy on guns. We're gonna attack the beetle swarm, I guess. Alright, like, we don't have a choice. Our people have gone. Look, this guy, uh -huh. Benjamin, he's not giving up. He's going to chase them down. All right, then. <laughs> Leroy Benjamin. What happened to the, the rats that were here? Sometimes she does a double shot, which is really nice. Okay. We cleared off the immediate threats. Come back here. Where are you going? You're collecting the berries? Okay, that's correct. Good. All right, we cleared off a lot of animals, and no one's dead. Okay, the scrapper is being built. The recycler is just short a couple planks of wood. Oh, I shouldn't have put down the medical tent so soon. Okay, the fishing hut is working. We have six carriers, some of them at half health, but that's fine. 
We're really going through those planks. Uh, next set of planks here. What's the largest we can make this? Okay, that works. Why do they keep collecting concrete when we have so much concrete and not enough planks? Well, never mind. We've got enough of the recycler. Recycler's going down. The scrapper is now running. Okay. This can now go into medium priority. And then we want to build the gate. But set it to low priority. Okay. New Dwellmend going a little bit better than old Dwellmend. <laughs> Once you figure out some quirks and limitations. Like, I, I just wanted to run away from those beetles. They were all coming at me. But I guess Leroy Benjamin there allowed us to, to take them out. Which is nice, I guess. Because this area is now clear of bugs and rats. I'm actually confused with the names. They're actually bug rats. Rat bugs. And the rats are fierce mice. I feel like that, that needs a little... That's a bit confusing. The bugs are called rats. And the rats are called mice. And I keep calling the rats... Rats. Because the bugs are called rat bugs. If a sandworm shows up, I hope we can punch it to death as a community in this post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> Come together as a community and just punch sandworms. Alright, now that all of this is set up, I think I can place down my roads. So I want to have roads coming along here. Along here, along here, and then we just want a road cutting through this and across there. So we'll give you guys something to do. And now a road from here. Athena, thank you so much. Roads going along both sides here. And across. Okay. Those are all the roads we need, I think. Probably eventually cross over here as well. Okay. That's a nice layout for the base, I think. Yeah, that looks good. I keep seeing people run around. I'm like, is that a wolf or something? It's like, no, it's, it's hard to tell. Avery's here. Why is Avery just here? I don't know, sometimes I see people standing around. What are, what are you doing? Having fun. Okay, they, they need a having fun mechanic because this is not how you have fun. She just looks sort of anxiously gripping her hands. Isn't this fun? Leader of the leader, leader of the town asks, "What are you doing, Avery?" Oh no, no, I'm 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 having I'm having fun. I'm really happy to be here, just hanging outside the fishing hut. This is what I enjoy doing. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Afraid she's going to be kicked out for not smiling enough. Only happy people allowed in this post-apocalyptic town. You're not happy. What? Okay. <laughs> All right, it didn't it didn't hit anything important.
Do we have enough resources here? Are we not getting plastic? Are you... No, that's metal. Are you getting plastic? We have someone who works here. Uh-huh. Right, Logan. Logan... Logan's going at it. All right. So we still have four carriers. Total population, ten. Amazing. Still three children. Okay. So we just want to get the medical tent up and then we can work on the gate, which has most everything it needs, actually. Uh, we're just sort of short on plastic everywhere. Yeah, metal's coming in. All right, that should turn this seven into something more. Oh, that was ten. This, went, this goes up to ten, I see. Uh, we still got wood, eight planks there. Yeah, we've got plenty of concrete. We've got three plastic here. The three plastic... We need a lot of plastic. Okay, let's speed the game up again. Hopefully since I cleared off those bugs, the rat bugs, we won't be attacked. There's a few mice over this way. Actually, that's quite a lot. That's like four of them. More bugs over here. A wild boar? Okay. Okay, we shouldn't be wandering over that side. There's bugs there. Where were the bugs that we cleared out earlier? It was here, right? Right, we cleared out the bugs here. So it seems like they don't respawn. At least not that quickly, anyway. We cleared out the rats here as well. Doesn't seem like they came back. Great. Right, I, f I feel okay. I feel safe. Planks depleted. Jeez, we burn through planks. Guess we're taking from here now. As long as there's no dangerous animals. Like, I don't think the majestic deer attack. They haven't attacked so far. Alright, look at that. Road's coming through. Very nice. Medical tent. Got half the plastic it needs. The gate... Just needs a bit more plastic. See, there's this. I've set this the gate's priority to low and the medical tent's priority to medium. And three plastic has gone into the gate. Which it really shouldn't, right? There's a woodcutter to get planks quicker. Yeah. Um, where is that? Forester Lumberyard. It costs a lot. We'll have to set that up. Now that we only need plastic, yeah, I think we can actually go ahead and build that. So the forester grows saplings, lumber yard. Where are we chopping trees? I guess these trees on the left. Let's rotate here. Let's put this down. Right here. That'll go next. Yep, insufficient resources, that's fine. Ivy's back to full health. Very good. She just wanders around. Like, I can't even tell her to, like, protect this area. Collins want to talk about that landfill. Okay. So this is just going for stuff. Do I want to give him the clothes, the tools, and the... You know, I think this time, since no one's died, I'm just going to give permission and not give them stuff. Just give permission. One colonist infected, and we get two clothes? Injuries and other conditions. Chloe is infected. Alright, so we need to build this. Priority high, please. Hopefully we can get the medical tent up now. Build an additional warehouse. Oh, because we have... stuff? We got clothes, but there's no room for it. 
warehouse. I see. Just place a warehouse there. Also need some plastic. Okay, medical tents coming down. Yeah. Chloe, not doing so well. Plank deposit depleted. We still got another one. That's fine. This lumberyard just needs one more plank. Prioritize that. Okay. Medical tents down. We have Avery. Treating Chloe, I think. Two more plastic and we can... Do we have... We have one more plastic? So this says we, it produces nine a day. I think it says. Six a day, two a day. So it converts it to either or of these, I think. No, it converts to both. Nine of these, three of those. Okay. Got some planks there. Good. <sighs> Zero deaths this time. So far. So far. Uh, I turned off the Twitch integration because it didn't seem to be doing anything on your side. Voting was coming up, but... It, it wasn't registering anything for you guys, uh, Carl Boone. Um, Carl Boone, do you know how to get the voting to work? <clears throat> okay, we're starting to run low on people. Because they all have to be working at these things. But I guess once... Yeah, once Chloe's treated, we can turn that off. Even build a, built a burial pit. Okay, the lumberyard should come through. The gate now has everything it needs. Please build it. There we go. We're now building the gate. Construction has started. The lumberyard has what it needs, which also means we'll probably need to build a forester. So let's stick the forester down here. Here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll stick the forester down there. Lumber yard is down. Let's move the work area to cut these trees. Not too far out. The forester will then replant those trees. Once this plastic depletes, it'll make a bit more space, which is great. A group of survivors arrived at the gate. People just have to type one, two, three in chat. Yeah, it wasn't working. <laughs> How did you manage to do all of this? You have so much here. How many did you have to kill for that? Actually, I don't want to know. We get the vulture, a scavenger. Three adults, two children, sounds good. Ten tins of food, seven clothes, eight tools, three... Ah, this looks really good. There's some stats here as well. Leadership, exploration, attack, research, scavenge, recovery. Yeah, except Good. We got more people in. Let's slow the game down. Addison says, don't worry, you're all safe now. That gives us a lot more stuff. And we have access to the world map. Now open to other survivors and specialists. Start arriving at your gate. Now go and see what's out there by pressing the big world map button in the bottom right. We can do stuff now. So we can just immediately... Right, this is what confused me last time. This chance... 
zero percent is the best, I think. Which is very confusing. It's not zero percent chance to succeed. It's zero percent chance to fail? I don't know, but we can go ahead and send... Let's send the vulture to the world map. Let's send you straight out. You can earn your keep. You can now scavenge here. And bring that jerky back. Also, some people are homeless. I just remembered we need to go ahead and build more tents. Let's build two more. Okay, good. Several construction zones are lacking resources. Yeah, we're just short on everything. Lumberyard's gonna continue producing. That, okay, good, yep. Did we heal Chloe? I think we did. Let's dismiss the doctor. The gate's holding all of that stuff. Very nice, good. Warehouse being built. Very nice. Good. Zero percent is chance to encounter. Yeah, the, the chance to encounter something is zero percent, I think. Maybe. <laughs> it's, it's a very weird way of wording it. Oh, five colonists are homeless. So we actually need... Another one. Okay. Construction completed warehouse. Adjusting worker slots. Yes, I've been doing that. Okay. What is it asking me to do? Add additional workers. I don't have any buildings that require additional workers. This tutorial is asking me to do... Oh well, skip. <sighs> oh, so let's try it one more time. Settings, general, Twitch integration enabled, right? Twitch channel, GamerZack. That's my name. Yeah, Twitch username. Confirm. Twitch voting countdown. I'm just going to set it to 30 seconds for now. Confirm, save. Let, let's see if it works. Planks depleted. It's so many planks. Move work area with those. Okay, warehouse is... We can set allowed resources. All of it can be fine. Madison is assigned to the gate. Okay, I guess. Turning to colony, yes. Action points. Once they've been spent, they need to rest. Okay, understood. You just have to type a number in chat and that's it. That's so strange. People were typing numbers earlier. And it wasn't working. I mean, that that's a very good way of doing it. But it's gonna work. <laughs> I probably should deal with homelessness first, right? Priority high. Priority high. Priority low. Priority medium. Yeah. Specialist ready. So I want you to... Deposit, which should then put the jerky there. We can now send you back out again. What do you want? 
and reveal a neighboring territory. A museum, okay. I wanted to go there next. Returning to the colony. Specialists need to carry scavenged resources back to the colony. Convenient options return to colony button. Dropped off at the gate storage where colonists can retrieve them. Okay. We can get some science there. We haven't even finished building all these roads. It's just non-stop stuff to do. Is my epic link to Twitch? Yes? Yeah, yeah. I, I linked it yesterday. Yes. Astriel, welcome. Along with everyone from Astriel's channel. Thank you for the raid. Uh, I did link my epic account to Twitch. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure why exactly the voting isn't working. I mean, it shouldn't even need... If it's just reading numbers in chat, the Twitch integration shouldn't even need... Uh, me linking my epic account to Twitch. Like, it should just be able to read... Oh wait, no, I guess it can't read chat unless you give it permission. That's how apps work. Do I have to link my Paradox account to Twitch? Is that what I have to do? You know, that information should be right here. Didn't I enable this? It should just, it should tell you what you need to do right there. Cal Boone didn't do it? Okay, I don't know. You don't have to link anything. It should just work. Okay, plastic, plastic. People just sleeping on the ground. Specialists ready for action. Go get me some science! We have 200 science, look at that. There's more in there. Okay, good. Can we buy something? Okay, last time we played, this had a very shallow tech tree. This seems to go much further now. So food, production. Okay, there's a lot of tech tree now. Colony. Exploration. What's good? Frontier outposts, bartering, build a trade center, heavy tarps. Gives a bit more strength, durability plus 40%. Nurses plus one work slot, crowbars, production speed plus for scrapper and recycler. Fishing Hut and Trapper. This only costs 50? Okay, let's research that. This costs 50 as well? Okay, so... I could have been researching these things a while ago! <laughs> Alright, fine. There we go. There's one more tent. Very good. Colonist Chloe's infected. Again. Assign someone to the medical tent. Good. Is that food doing okay? We haven't even depleted this first berry bush. I guess most people are eating fish. I just depleted. Go for those two. All right, we've almost researched crowbars. We've just finished researching crowbars. Um, now I wanted survival skills. Let's research that. Avery says, can't stop progress. 
We could send Ivy to the world map, but then again, if we get attacked, we need her here for gun. So, yeah. Alright, I don't think the critters respawn, so we should be fine. Specialist ready for action. Grab me more science. There's still more in there. Another house. Great. Let's prioritize that tent. Oh, the forester was put down. Alright, I want you to maintain that, but also for now, we don't need you planting trees. There's enough trees for now. Okay, we finished survival skills. Pack tactics. Skinning. Basic farming. Small field. I feel like we do need basic farming. Meteor shower. Before the apocalypse, people said that when you see a shooting star, you can make a wish and it will come true. It is hard to believe because nowadays when we see a shooting star, we always hope to live through the day. But it never works. <laughs> what? They just die? <laughs> the sky turns red as burning rocks fall through the atmosphere. Intense showers of deadly objects plummet towards the colony and cause widespread damage. Meteorites can cause damage to buildings, reserve enough construction materials for repairs, have carriers at hand to do the repairs, Better build better shelters to keep your colonists safe. Meteor shower incoming days before catastrophe strikes. We currently still have homeless people, so let's fix that. Also, there was a research... ...to make our tents better. Chloe is also currently still infected. Okay. The heavy tarp. Yes, we need to get the heavy tarp. Have I finished Caesar 4? No. Not yet, not yet. Okay. Meteor shower incoming. Oh. Basic farming is taking a little longer to research. Everyone is so unhappy. Dirty, rested poorly, slept outdoors, tired. Everyone is unhappy. I don't know how we fix that. Specialist ready for action. Get me those last science points. Okay, and it now has nothing. The museum is empty. Can I get heavy tarp before... Oh, an outhouse? Maybe we need an outhouse. Near the nuclear waste? <laughs> Near the entrance makes sense. You come in from the outside. You might have to go. A little friend has been lost. Will you bring them home? Alright. Guys, try type a number in chat and see if one or two works. Try type the number one or two. Let's see what happens. A small girl approaches you with watery eyes. Oh, it's it's working! It's registering! Look at that! Send a search party or refuse a girl's request. Do you guys want to send a search party? Everyone's typing in chat, but only three votes have come through. <laughs> Why did only three register? Like 20 people voted. <laughs> well...
Does it only work with subs? I don't know. How many subs voted? I don't... Is it only for subs? It doesn't say that. Anchor and Poppy voted right at the start. No, 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 no. Wait, Pomi also voted. Was it three subs that voted? I... Th I think it's only subs. No, it's not only subs? Alright, um... You guys voted one, so sure. A few colonists venture out to look for the cat. The girl is beaming with joy, but you know that success is uncertain. However, the party soon returns with a massive white cat who, judging by the fish the party is also carrying, had been hunting by the nearby river. Lady Fuzzy Whiskers, the girl squeeze, embracing the cat who immediately begins to purr. Plus two happiness, plus seven fish. Fantastic, everyone's happier. Great. Four subs voted one. Yeah, but maybe it came in too slow. I'm gonna give more time to vote for the next time that happens. Let's set this to 60 seconds. Maybe it's just subs. It doesn't say that anywhere. Basic farming completed, great. What we need was... Heavy tarps. Plus durability. Research. I don't know if we're gonna get it in time, but we're gonna try. Yeah, I got three votes, and there were three early votes that were from subs. So by the time the other votes came in, maybe it was a little late. So we'll see. Next time there's voting, there'll be more time. Specialist ready for action. Have a look at this. Decaying houses. We can get 54 maggots? Buffalo buffalo worms. Hmm. Did I fix the voting? No, it just I it might just be for subs only. Okay, um heavy tarps coming in. The meteor strike is supposed to happen. I hope people take cover by themselves, because I, I don't have any control over these guys. There's Logan, you know, it's like I don't know. Uh we got five children, okay. Seems like the roads have come through. Uh, the outhouse is open for building. Heavy tops completed. Fantastic. Communal living shanty. Weatherproof seams. Repair cost minus three for tents. That's really good. With a meteor shower coming in. Meteor shower is upon us. Avery says, I don't want to die. Buildings are going to take some serious hits. Okay. We got the heavy tarps and the weatherproof seams are coming in. Two deposits depleted. Guess we can go to collecting those. Oh! Alright, that one just missed our gate. Ooh! A little bit of damage. Everyone's just standing outside. I feel like they should be taking cover. I see why clustering houses is a bad idea. Should cancel repairs. Tent destroyed. Okay, just don't bother repairing then. Okay, that one missed. Let's continue our research here. Stockpile capacity. Scrap uh, production plus one metal. Larger larder. 
Uh, I like the reclaimable materials. The earlier you get that, the more metal it'll be at the end. Dude, Logan just got hit straight on by a meteor. We do have someone working in the medical tent. Probably will need that after this. Okay. Another tent destroyed. Hit the lake, okay. This lasts a while, huh? Okay, we're getting a little lucky, but clustering houses, yeah, not so good. Specialist ready for action. You know, go explore that city. Resource crickets. Okay. Surprisingly, no one's died. Right on the house. Yeah, that research we did, repair cost went down by one per one plastic. It was three, now it's two. Are we good? Is that it? I think that's the end of it. People are going to be homeless. I can't build on wreckages. Okay. Did we lose two? We lost two, right? Oh, you can just clear it immediately. It doesn't need work. Oh, I see. Okay, that's fine. Okay, everything's repaired up real quick. Rebuild two houses. No. Nothing, not too bad, actually. Three colonists are homeless. There are people gathered outside the gate. They seem desperate enough to do anything. Desperate times. You can see the people flocking outside your gate have been through a lot. You can see from the scars they carry, their ragged, uh, stony faces, and their weapons. The woman up front says, we have been traveling for days, please. We need food. We will not survive otherwise. I don't have any food. How much food do we even have stocked up? How much of it says here? Wait, why can't I give any food? I have 22 fish and 19 jerky. By the way, there's no voting going on here. Why? Is this a bug? We have 22 fish, 19 jerky, 8 berries, and 8 canned fruit. <laughs> and I can't... Can't give him any food. Oh, I guess we've got nothing. They, they want particularly potatoes. There is sorrow in the leader's eyes. A group let their backpacks down. I told you we need food. I'm sorry for this. They ready their weapons. Also, yeah, there was no voting. So the Twitch integration not working again. And they just attack us? We have one person.
What was that? They all just blew up. What is going on? I nuked them with what? You know, I, I like how this game is shaping up, but there's just some weird things that I don't understand. Like, from a development side, I don't... I don't understand why it's like that. Um, some things seem buggy. For example, the Twitch integration, let me just go check here. It is still on, there was no voting just now. Also, they were asking for food, I have 52 units of food, I couldn't give them food. So maybe those are bugs, which I understand. Okay, maybe those are bugged out. But, why did they just blow up? Also, why can animals attack us and we can't tell our people to retreat? They specifically wanted potatoes? Why is a request for food for potatoes? Like, I could put down farming fields here. And if we farm the wrong resource, the wrong food, we still couldn't give them the food. It's so strange. Components, okay. So we did finish some research. Communal living for better houses. Why am I surprised? Food requests are like this in almost every city builder. Um, because thematically, when there's a food request um, in a post-apocalyptic world, and the story is we are starving and we need something, they should be able to accept any kind of food. Um, the fact that it is in games like Pharaoh, where it's like, we, we our city is starving, we need particularly fish, that doesn't make it Good. <laughs> right, that doesn't make it good. Uh, also, when there's a request for something specific in other city builders, they request something specific and they give you time, right? Our city is starving, we need 12 units of fish, you have one year, right? Here, they show up and they say, we need 15 potatoes right now. We are starving right now. If you don't give us 15 potatoes, we will we will attack you. You know? And it's not like, hey, you know, could you set up a potato farming system and give us potatoes? It's like, no, if you don't have 15 potatoes on hand right now, we will attack you so that we can not take potatoes that you don't have. Right? So in Pharaoh and Caesar, uh, well, Caesar is a bit more specific. It's like the Caesar wants something. In Pharaoh, they're, they're often like, oh, this city is starving. Please send us figs or something, right? Um, it's kind of okay because they give you time to set up. You know, they, they often give you a year to build fig farms, collect the figs, send it off. <laughs> But when it, there's no time to set it up, it's really weird. I could have set up farms and farmed corn and all sorts of stuff. 
you know, and if I had like 14 potatoes and 37 corn, they'll be like, no, 14 potatoes, you're one potato short, we're gonna have to start shooting you. And it feels really weird. <laughs> right? And then, you know, in Pharaoh, when there's a food request and you don't deliver it, what happens is they starve. <laughs> right? They don't come for resources that you don't have. Yeah, they're like, we're sorry about this, but we have to take your non-existent potatoes. So thematically, it's weird. Uh, mechanically, I don't know why they blew up. Like, our gate doesn't have any defenses. Um, where's our gunner? Uh, Ivy has a rifle. Like, it doesn't say she's got grenades or anything. They just... They had cars. They had cars. Mall town. Is that a town? <gasps> this is what I was looking for. Oh, I wasn't expecting an envoy today. This massive shopping mall has been converted into apartments and heavily barricaded to repel intruders. Its colonists know what they have, and they can get paranoid about letting people in, as someone would surely unlock the doors for their barbaric friends outside. Writing-wise, that's a weird thing to quote. Because no one really says that. So that's a weird thing to quote. Hmm, okay, uh, they offer these things. Trade status unavailable. Reputation cautious, cautious. 29. I see. So there's reputation, trade, resources, and these personalities, which they've recently added, I think. Okay, we found Maltown. I'm thinking the car exploded. Why did their car explode? Guess we better farm potatoes. And maybe, yeah, we'll have potatoes on the right, corn on the left. This still needs to be repaired, we're short on metal, okay. No, no, we have plenty of metal, it just needs to be delivered. Um, let's take you off, we need more carriers. Recycler, okay, the forest is not currently functioning, lumberyard continues, good. We only got three carriers? Oh, because the, the fields are taking up people as well. Right. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, there are some weird decisions here. We got communal living. Okay, we've only got 15 science points now. So that's all the research we can do for now. Speed up the game. So yeah, I really like a lot of these additions. It's just some weird gameplay decisions. It needs a town bell to have people hide in their tents. For example, just now we just had Lucas, a child, hit by a meteor. Surely you should be able to hide in tents. Alright, let's see if Twitch integration works. Okay. Subs, people who are subscribed to me on Twitch, type a number 1 to 4 based on these choices. They're pushing through a circle of people, there's two people fighting. Do we punish, punish, give medicine, let them fight? Let's see if this works. Is it registering anything? I see subs and non-subs typing numbers. No, nothing's coming through. Nothing's coming through. It's just broken. The fact that we got three votes earlier means I've set things up correctly. It's just not reading. It's look, it's it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> uh Hmm. Yeah, 
doesn't work. Okay. Just give him medicine. We don't need... It's fine. Just, okay, good. Done. Seven happiness. Everyone's happy. Good. So we know the three votes came in earlier. So we know it's working. Grow corn. Grow corn. Okay. Specialist, ready for action. Just keep revealing territories. I wanted to find a... Uh... Ooh, science. Yes, that's what we need. Observatory. There's a chance 33% on the hazards. So yeah, see the hazard here? It's got one level of danger, and there's a 33% chance you'll meet one level of danger. That's what that means. Okay, planting, then growing. Okay. Small concrete ruin depleted. There's another one. Good. All right. So we did get tenements, some protection against radiation and catastrophes, colonists are less likely to reproduce in cramped shelters, shanty, not as easily destroyed as tents. So these are the, the houses that we want. Let's build one of those, there we go. So have that set up there, okay. So we actually got quite a lot of stuff set up here. Uh, we've got probably tool shop and tailor, but we're kind of running low on people at the moment. Can place torches down. Put a torch and see what happens. Okay, you. Let's try get some science here. Might face dangers. Ooh, what happened? You okay? Took 20 points of damage. We did get the science though. Okay. That allows us to research. Education, remembrance, interior walls. Happiness plus 20 in tenements. Oh, let's see. Food. Large ladder. Exploration. Bartering. Frontier. Outposts. And let's get bartering. So we can build a trade center and trade with that town we, we met. We better plant some crops. Tenements are much better. And yeah, we can recycle these tents once. We get the shanty down, I'll get rid of a tent. Then I'll put down a tenement. Okay, demolish that one. Okay, good. And put down a tenement. Can fit here? Yes, good. I've only got one person carrying things around. Are we out of food? Oh, I didn't... Why is there no warning on low food? Are we not low on food? We got 23 food? Oh, it's all just in the gate or something. Okay. Harry is now an adult. Great. Group of survivors arrive at the gate. Alright. So apparently with the Twitch integration, this is not something that you guys get to vote on. <laughs> 
That's mighty fine work you've done here. Not many people manage to stick together like this, but you, maybe this will turn out okay after all. Five adults, zero children, with some resources. I'm building a tenement right now, so sure, accept. Also, you. Let's try this again. Didn't blow up, very good. Colonist James is injured. All right, we can now have a doctor. This broken truck, I'm not sure if it's good to just demolish it. Oh, look at that. Crops coming in, very nice. I did actually build that torch as well. Very good. Bartering completed. I wanted to get... Garage? No. I wanted to get interior walls to plus 20 happiness in the tenement. Roof supports, durability for shanties and tenements. I see. Let's get the interior walls first. Okay. People are getting more unhappy, by the way. Yeah. How do I... Dirty, injured, tired, agreement, plus 15, rested poorly. All right, the tenement houses eight people, so that's plenty. I assume that means I can... There's room for five more. So I can just demolish two tents. Yeah. So they move into the tenement where we're going to get them walls. Good. All right. Farms are set up. I can probably get to having a forester run there. Can't believe no one's died. I should probably prepare for someone dying. By sticking a burial pit there. And you can... Try get more science. Okay, no explosion this time. Not sure if it can only happen once or not. Water? Oh, our water's negative. That means we need another well. That's too close. 90%, 100% there. Alright, build another well, please, thank you. Okay. Burial pit completed. We don't need someone working there right now. Interior walls was researched. Sweet porcelain. Indoor toilets. Happiness plus 20 in shanties. We don't really have... I'm gonna go ahead and get the roof supports first. About 35% on all of our crops. Okay. Some people are... Actually, quite a few people are injured. I suppose that's kind of a problem. It's just concrete. That feels a little far. Is it safe up this way? Are there any animals? No, I think we're okay. Colonist Henry is injured. Okay. You can just try to deplete that. And you blow up again. But you got the sights. Good. 
Roof support's completed. I'm gonna research the nurses, because we got quite a big population now. If we need extra medical attention, that'll be handy. We have five carriers, okay. Uh, I did research bartering, so water is now okay. Let us get a trade center. Yeah, I like that. And our underground plastic. Build a plastic extractor. Okay, but for now, we just have to move the work area. Is that safe? I feel like I prefer going there. So these become extractable. I see. What is going on? No, why? Stop punching sandworms. Why isn't there an alert for that? Where is... Why are you here? Ivy. Penelope again! Stop punching the sandworm! It's the sandworm's not even in the work area. <sighs> like, I can't... No, just, just move it back here. Okay, just stop collecting. They're literally all just gonna march to their death. Look at that, they go up to these planks, and like, no, there's a sandworm in the ground right there. And that's it, three dead. Just like that. And if I set someone in the burial pit, we don't have enough carriers. We built a trade center though. Why? Why is it programmed like that? I don't understand. We just have three bodies, one on top of each other here. These colonists have no fear mechanic. We have no control over them. I told them to get these planks. They saw an underground hidden worm there and decided to go and punch it. Usually in games, enemies work like the beetles. We aggro them. They come to us, they're like, oh, we, we, we're doing a pull. We've aggroed them, we can kite them. Here, that works on the beetles. However, the sandworm aggros us. The sandworm pulls us. <laughs> and that's not how it's supposed to work. We're supposed to be the intelligent creatures who blew up the world, obviously, but we're supposed to be the intelligent creatures that are building up our town. We have lighting, we have you know, a society being built, and they just get so blindly enraged at the sight of a wild animal that they have to go punch it. Right? I understand bugs. We can pass on the bugs, they label this early access, we expect it to not be complete. Obviously bugs do happen, the Twitch integration's not really working, um, we saw the beetles glitch out many times. Um, all of that. But the decisions of some gameplay design, like why those invaders... Well, first of all, they requested a specific resource, which if you don't have that at that current second, they attack you, which is a very weird thing. Like, you have to change that request to something more specific, right? If you're gonna show up and say, we are starving, they should accept our jerky and fish, right? That sort of request would work if, like, say, we're here, 
to steal your tools. Right? They specifically say, we're here to steal your tools, we need tools right now, and we're kind of dicks. Give us tools or we're just gonna ruin your town. You know, to send a message. Right? They, they're gonna extort us. Then, yeah, that, that storyline makes sense. You know, <laughs> they needed vodka. Vodka or death. And actually, if we can't get the potatoes for the vodka, we're going for death anyway, you know? <laughs> it's just... You know, so that's that's very strange. Why they blew up, I don't I still have no idea. But the punching of the sandworms and the Leroy Jenkinsing to the Beatles, it's just And when we get invaded, like if the Beatles ran at us like they did in the previous game, just getting Ivy over to shoot them would take some time and we would lose villagers. When we should be able to tell our villagers, take cover, run, hide. I don't know if this voting is going to work. You can try type a number. May not work. So it's just so... Like there's some decision makings that I find very weird. Overall, the game feels like it's coming together. It looks great now. It's running fine. Um, Gameplay-wise of building the the buildings and all of that seems good, you know. Bugs can be fixed, but the decision-making is weird on some gameplay, and that feels very awkward. And difficult for no reason. Like, we just lost three people. That's... Uh, we had a total population of 21. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> Voting doesn't work. Uh, we lost three people out of 21. Because they were vaguely nearby. Keep in mind, they were collecting planks here. And when they got to the planks, they're like, there's a sandworm. There's the sandworm. Here's the planks we're collecting. There's a sandworm. It can't move. We're going to go punch it. And just like that, three people died. Ah. <sighs> And that feels very weird. I'm just gonna stop right here because I'd rather come back to this when it's got more updates. The developers said that despite the last six updates being pretty big, especially the most recent one being pretty big, um, the largest things are still to come. And this game is supposed to release in 2020, so I'm gonna give it another three months at least for another few updates. And we'll come back to this later in the year. And it's supposed to release in 2020. And when it releases, it should come to Steam as well. Uh, again, epic exclusivity. I'm not qualified to talk about how it is for developers on Twitter. Twitter.com slash GamerZach. I retweeted this. He know He's a developer. He knows what he's talking about. It's apparently very, very good for developers. And it allows them to make games like this because of what Epic is giving. On the consumer side, the limitation is not good. On our side, the gamer side, and we do prioritize gamers first, developers second, publishers last. So on our side, not so great that it's not on Steam, but it will be coming to Steam. So, and looking at the game right now in its current state, I'd just wait anyway. Anyway, uh, that's my impressions of surviving the aftermath. After update 6, I hope you enjoyed this look and found it interesting and useful. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check out um, patreon.com slash gamerzack. Uh, YouTube memberships was just revealed, uh, well, enabled in my country, so I'll try to be setting those up soon for possibly ways of just releasing videos without caring about algorithm and stuff, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and there's, of course, a Humble Bundle referral link and a merch store where you can buy, I think you can buy this game using that link and other games. Uh, meanwhile, please do join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, particularly, and the wonderful Discord community. And that's going to be it for now. If you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for much more content. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.